Hey guys, today I am back at Universal Orlando Resort and today I am here to show you guys what is new, what has changed. Also, we're gonna have a little bit of a Thanksgiving dinner to prepare for Thanksgiving. It's like a tradition, I have to try the sandwich here and I'll explain more about that when we get in. I'm gonna try to meet Earl, maybe the Grinch if I can get a virtual queue. Let's get in here, let's get it started. So come on and join me. Well, out in front of the Universal Studios store, they finally have the wall clings up for Grinchmas. It's cool. Looks uh, exactly like last year. Oh, looky here. It looks like we have Mistletoe Pines coming back. I had heard a rumor that it was not going to come back, but it looks like it is. This is cool. Now, this is just a photo op right now. There's nothing more expanded to it, and I'll show you that photo op in just a second. But um, hopefully, you know, they'll put out some treats here like they did last year in a bar like they had before. So here's the photo op that I was talking about. This is actually really cool. You can see we have the truck here with Earl the Squirrel. Now, if you remember, the truck was part of the, like, kind of poster, or not poster, but like the promo stuff last year that Earl was driving the truck. That's cool, all kinds of Christmas stuff here in the back. That's awesome. I love that. Oh, look at this, some of the detail here. Orange wheels, world's only orange juice. I met Gerg the Llama at Earl's north of the border. Huh, I have to check and see if he's in there. And then the red and green coconut club. That's pretty cool. And then the photo up here with the banner. I love that. Man, the Universal Design Team does so great with this stuff. Their creative is really good. A little bit of the remnants of the village. I don't know how much they're gonna do, but look, have trees here. And then of course, there's the sign. And then a tree there. And now, we're going into the park. Another thing I want to cover here today is exactly how bad the crowds are here at the park today, right before Thanksgiving. Um, I will say this is pretty busy right now, like all the people walking by me right now. For 10 o'clock, it's pretty busy. As you can see, they do have the photo op now, the holiday parade, and once again, they have that little star photo op there, which is awesome. I always like to see that. Okay, now let's go inside. And my goodness, it looks really busy. As you first walk into the park, over to the left, there is a little popcorn stand. And here is the new holiday freestyle mug. That's cool. I love that. Now there is an Earl the Squirrel one. Um, it might be in the pass holder lounge, but that's really cool. So I've been wondering when these wall clings were gonna change right here on the Universal Studio store. Let's see the banners. Look, now it looks like an old department store. Kind of like the tribute store, which is cool. I like that if we walk over here, you can see this too. That's nice. It's a really cool look to it. So I'm glad they finally changed that over because that Jurassic World one's been here since like April? March? Somewhere around there? Now there is some new Christmas merch that I want to show you guys, but I'll show you in a little bit. Right now we're waiting on Earl to come out. He comes out like at 10.35. So we have a few minutes before Earl comes out, but I wanted to show you something that has changed and something that's starting to take shape, something we've been taking Something we've been covering for months now. Well, probably about a year now. Let's go look at it. All right, we're over here at the old Shrek 4D building, which is rumored to be a Minions walkthrough attraction. But now look what we've got. Look at this. Looks like the entranceway is starting to take shape. You can still see underneath it slightly the old Shrek 
black one and they're actually in there working right now. I can see a construction worker. You probably can't see it on camera, but I can see it. But look at this. So we're starting to get the shape of the attraction. Well, not of the attraction, but of the signage for the attraction. Man, it's cool. And uh, I don't think they've really painted anything yet. This is just stuff that's going on here. Dense glass sheathing is what it is. But it's really cool, man. That's going to be a pretty big entrance compared to Shrek. Uh, Shrek was about half that size, like down to there. So that's cool. And you can see they're stripping the paint off the building here too. So they're still working on that. So we'll see. It's getting exciting though. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking at least by summer next year. And with it being so busy, let's take a look at the wait times and just see. Um, it looks like it's gonna get really, really busy in the next couple of days. So let's take a look at the wait times and see what it is right now. All right, let's open the Universal app here. Let's take a look what we got. We're here in studios today. Here's Minions right by us. That is a 80 minute wait, which means it's busy. Transformers, 40 minutes, not too bad right now. Rip Ride, well no, that's Jimmy Fallon, 20. That's never that busy. Um, Rip Ride is an 80 minute wait, so that's pretty busy. Just out of curiosity, Fast and Furious, 10. Wouldn't wait that long for that. 55 for Green Gots. It is only 1022 right now, so um, I'm sure it will get way busier as the day goes on. But yeah, so be expecting really long wait times. And just out of curiosity, I decided to go over here to Islands and just take a look here. Um, here's Hagrid's 150 minutes. Titan's Fury 25, uh, Velocicoaster 65, and then, I mean, these are your, like, your big ticketed ones that are going to be longer. So, not too bad right now, early in the morning, but this will go up. Alright, before we go any further, I wanted to talk about this. This is a very sad thing. This is where the Monsters Cafe obviously was before. You can see it's being gutted out. But if you notice what else is missing, that's right. The little monster stand that was here where you could get drinks and pretzels and stuff is completely gone. The monsters are gone from it. The stand is gone. It just looks weird and empty. Completely weird and empty. So, we're hoping that they're just gonna move it over to Epic because that seems like it would be a waste of those monsters, right? You know? We're hoping it'll just go over to Epic Universe and we'll see it over there. But we will have to wait and see. And, uh, man. It's kind of crazy. Okay, now, let's keep moving. And to be fair, I think that Epic Universe will have a good portion of monsters there. The outcry from pass holders and people that are used to coming to the park has been pretty significant on keeping the monsters around. So I'm really hoping that Universal does honor that and the rumors are true about a monster section in Epic Universe. We'll have to wait and find out 2025. I'm down here on Hollywood Boulevard and you see the Brown Derby hat shop is getting a little bit of a paint job. Now, whether this is going to reopen as the hat shop, I don't really think so. I think it could be like a preview center or something like that. But we'll have to wait and see. But that's kind of cool that they're repainting it and getting it ready for something different. I'm pretty sure it's going to be something different than a hat shop. Okay, I'm going to step into the Five and Dime because I heard there's some Christmas themed Halloween shirts in here. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. Frankenstein's monster. And a Santa hat hanging out in the snowy cabin. That's cool. This shirt is $35. Ah, this one's really cool. It's a Krampus shirt. $35 for this one as well. And then right next to it, another Krampus shirt. Those are cool. From the Halloween Shirt Company, and they are 
super, super soft. I might have to get that Krampus one. And another one down here. Look at that. That's cool. It's a big pumpkin tree topper. So they have actually moved Earl over here by Battery Park in Central Park now. He's just hanging out here having fun, taking pictures with everyone. It is definitely picking up here. We got Earl still over here meeting with people. His line was pretty long, it's starting to go down now, and now they've cut off the line. You can't, actually can't get in the line, so you need to be here right at the times, which is like 10.35, 11.35, and so on. I think he meets until 4.35 somewhere around there but make sure you're in line because they do cut you off after a certain time so these people that are over here they're the last ones that'll be in the line same thing with Patrick which Patrick is already gone in his Christmas gear I think he did like two more meet and greets and that was it but just keep that in mind if you're gonna meet the characters now that Earl is gone here's a closer look at his little setup here it's cool reindeers Santa sleigh it's cool all right, now that we've seen Earl, let's head over to the Tribute Store, check out some of the new merch that's in there. There's one shirt in particular that I want to show you, so let's head over there now. All right, we made it to the Tribute Store, now let's go in and check it out. And just to be clear, we've seen it before in our previous video, make sure you check that out. But I want to see if there's any new shirts in here, because I did see one earlier, so let's go in here and find out. Yep, and here we go right away. First thing as you walk in, these are really cool. Love the classic Santa Claus. Looks like the uh, Santa Coca-Cola ones. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Price tag on this is $30. Not bad. I did not notice this before. I'm sure it was here, but this is really cool. Famous roasted chestnuts. I still love the window displays in here. So cool, man. It's just awesome. As we know, each room is themed to different things this year. Well, I mean, they always kind of are, but this is really cool. Okay, going to the Tribute Photo Studio again. Let's see if we see anyone we know. There's Kevin from last time. You know, I don't see anyone that I personally know. I feel like that kind of didn't land this time for a photo op. Now they do have the Grinch Moldoramas now, $8. Look at him. Now look at this lounge fly. This is awesome. The Grinch stealing all the presents here. It's just more of a, like a purse, more than a bag, uh, more than a backpack. And you can see on the back it says Dr. Seuss lounge fly. That is really cool. This one is $79. All right, made it into Earl's north of the border. Now, I want to check out the treats over here. We didn't get to check them out the other day when we were here, but let's check them out. All right, here's a look at what they have this year. Sort of cookie dough balls. How many spoons would you like? So cocoa bombs like before. And they have the jumbo macarons. Uh, acorn and a gingerbread. And then the ugly sweater one. That's cool. And then the trifle cakes, like before. So pretty similar items. But no brownie. Hey, Bert, if you're watching this, no brownie. Okay, they do now have the Earl the Squirrel Motorama. There he is. Hey, Earl. It's cool. So this Earl Lando Preview Center makes me think we're going to get a preview center for Epic very soon. I think that's just a hint. I don't know where it's gonna go, but that would be really cool. Thanks for stopping by. All right, let's go get us some Thanksgiving dinner. All right, so now I'm just waiting on the stand here at Battery Park to open, and we're gonna try some Thanksgiving dinner sandwich. Something like that. Hopefully it's better this year, but I gotta make it a tradition, right? And I still love the fact that they're playing August Burns Red Christmas. It's awesome. So cool. Yeah. I mean, when can you come to the theme park and just head back? It's so good. Okay, hey, let's go get that sandwich. Okay, so we covered this before, but here is what they are offering here at Battery Park. The turkey dinner sandwich, which is the one we're going to get today. Chocolate pressed s'mores, the VBLT, peanut butter stuff and fluff, fluff and stuff. And then they have some um, hot cocoa bombs, 
and things like that. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna go with the turkey dinner today. I really wanna do the press more, but since it's Thanksgiving, I'm going to do the turkey dinner. So they do have tables out here at Battery Park that you can actually eat at. But I think I'm gonna go over by Cafe La Bamba because that is where I like to go and eat. All right, here we go, the turkey dinner press sandwich. Now I do have to say this looks way better than what I got last year. The bread looks more appetizing. Actually it looks pressed. Last year it wasn't so pressed, but you see a piece of turkey sticking out there. So and it comes with and it comes with gravy too. All right, let's dive into this thing. Let's try it out. Now I'm going to try this a couple different ways. I'm going to try it without the uh, gravy and with the gravy. This looks good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, first thoughts. This is way better than last year. Um, it's actually good. Last year it was kind of soupy. This is actually thick and real. Like, it's really, really good. So, my opinion has completely changed on this because I was like, I want to try it for Thanksgiving. I was telling Angie, I was like, I want to do it. And like, as, as a tradition thing for Thanksgiving this year. Man, they really improved it. It's, it's really, really good. Okay, now let's try it with the gravy. Mmm. Even better. My gosh. That's good stuff. So as I'm like, you know, kind of winding down the video, I finished the turkey dinner. <laughs> it's good. Um, really good this year. Um, but as, I, as I'm winding down, I just kind of wanted to um, say thank you guys for um, watching us this year, believing in us this year, um, joining us in the journey of this year. You know, we started this year out pretty rocky. We started the year out with COVID, and there was a lot that we missed out on um, the first couple of months, and it felt like it just took us um, a little while to get back in the groove. And at that point, we only had 500 subscribers. So um, you guys have been amazing. Um, we've gotten to know a lot of you throughout this year and uh, built relationships. We've met some of you guys in the park and walked around with you in the park and just built friendships that will last a lifetime. And um, we are very, very thankful for each and every one of you. Um, you know, it's been a year. It's been a year for us. Uh, we've started that year out with COVID. Um, you know, I've, I've had it, I think, twice, maybe. Um, I should have went and got checked the second time, but I think I had it twice. And um, went through some, some things personally, and uh, but at the end of the day, you guys make it worth everything. Um, you guys uh, keep us going. And when I'm tired and I don't feel like coming out here, you guys are the reason why I do it because I love the interaction and I love talking to you guys. And it just uh, I'm just so thankful for each and every one of our subscribers, all 2,000 something, 2,200 of you, whatever it is. Um, we're very thankful. And everyone that's new that comes to our channel and watches, we're very, very thankful uh, for you guys. And this is, we are beyond blessed. God has blessed us this year we've accomplished a lot this year and next year will be even better this isn't the end of the year for us vlog wise but since we're talking about thanksgiving and being thankful i just wanted to say thank you thank you guys we love you we love you very much so thank you guys so much and with all that being said thank you so much guys for watching if you're new here please consider subscribing hit the like button and the notification bell so you know when our next video is coming out and remember always eat your turkey. Remember, the road goes ever on. Happy Thanksgiving. I'll see you next time.